Okay, Laura, you've made a reasonable start to this um, illustrated essay. Um, the main thing, that, the main strength of this is that you give it quite a bit on what you intend to do, which is at the end of the essay was the real point of the essay. Uh, you said an awful lot about uh, how um, James Wan's work is going to be sort of played out in your own film um, and the links between the two, and that is good. Uh, just uh, we things like this are sort of spelling mistakes. Um, such as the dim lighting is supposed to say. Um, but what this lacks <clears throat> in some places is a more detailed analysis of the scenes from his films. Uh, you tend to just use the scenes from his films as a backdrop to you talking about what you, what you want to do as opposed to analysing any scene in detail like you would in an exam. So you've said, like, I took inspiration from such and such, uh, the lighting in this Kiris Hero effect and you find that it works well to tell the tale in itself and so on. But you don't tell me all about this scene and how all the other elements of film language are used in that scene, uh, which is what you could have done. Uh, you do a wee bit in these parts, and that happens later on as well, where you sort of annotate your screenshots. Um, those parts are quite good. And you can maybe think about what you need to do for draft 2 as expanding uh, these little parts here. Um, but by all means, keep the keep the things that you that you intend to do. Um, but analysis overall, uh, the points on this page here are, are probably a bit more obvious and not really as worthwhile. Like you, you talk about the fact that we know it's a different time frame because there are different um, devices spelled wrong, uh, different things in the shot, and that's it's fairly obvious. And it's not really a sort of a you, know, you couldn't imagine uh, analysing that in an exam answer, just saying we know it's the past because the props are old, uh, which is really what you sort of say here. Um, this part, though, is definitely going to be something that we can concentrate on, the fact that he uses doors a lot. Um, and I think then on the next page, into uh, something about this being used a lot in, in, throughout the history of culture or something like that, which is quite good. This could maybe be something that you look on for trying to get an artistic link, for doors being used to frame in photography or painting might be something that you could look into and just use as a as an influence that you have spotted or as a link that you have spotted uh, that would be something maybe to develop so yeah this part's good where you, you talk about long slow tracking shots right so that's okay about a feeling of vulnerability this is an okay point to make um, but like I said before, you need to really expand it uh, into the whole scene and analyse all five areas of film language in, uh, in, uh, in uh, several scenes from James Wan's films. Yeah, this page, um, yeah, this is maybe fairly weak in that what we've got here is lots of screenshots and not enough analysis going on. So, I mean, the analysis is good here. You're talking about, you know, you're not just talking about what happens. You've talked about how we see it and what, you know, a uh, you know, combination of intense atmospheric scores, hanging sounds, give the suspenseful feeling. That reads like an exam answer. And then and it's also important that you do this at times, which you've done here. I feel that he successfully surprises. It's good that if you can sort of give us, give us your take on things. So done I suppose one of the main things which is give us um, what you intend to do and how it links to your to your influence but you really need to basically build this up into two separate analysis of scenes uh, and then the links to art that's uh, going to be your task for the next draft